Welcome to Figures in History, the channel where we delve into the lives of remarkable individuals who shaped the world we live in today. From visionaries and leaders to artists and innovators, we bring you 10 key facts about some of the most influential figures from throughout history. Prepare to embark on a captivating journey through time as we uncover the intriguing stories behind these remarkable people. In each episode, We'll unveil fascinating details, shedding light on their accomplishments, struggles, and the lasting impact they've had on our world. J.R.R. Tolkien, best known as the author of The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, was born on January 3, 1892, in Bloemfontein, South Africa. However, he spent most of his childhood in England. Tolkien served as a lieutenant in the British Army during World War I. He fought in the Battle of the Somme, one of the bloodiest battles in history, and the experience heavily influenced his writings, particularly the depiction of warfare in his novels. Tolkien was a renowned linguist and philologist. He created numerous languages, including Elvish languages like Quenya and Sindarin, with fully developed grammatical structures, vocabulary, and even poetic forms. These languages were integral to the world-building in his stories. The Hobbit was originally written by Tolkien as a story for his children. It was published in 1937 and quickly gained popularity, leading to the demand for a sequel, which eventually became The Lord of the Rings. Tolkien's Middle-earth legendarium spans much more than just The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. He worked on various other writings, including The Silmarillion, which delves into the history, mythology, and cosmology of Middle-earth, as well as numerous unfinished tales and essays. Tolkien was close friends with fellow author C.S. Lewis, known for his Chronicles of Narnia series. They were part of a literary discussion group called the Inklings, which met regularly at the University of Oxford to discuss their works and share ideas. Despite the immense popularity of his works, Tolkien never intended The Lord of the Rings to be a trilogy. Originally, it was meant to be a single volume, but due to paper shortages after World War II, the publisher decided to split it into three parts, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. Tolkien's love for nature and the English countryside heavily influenced his writings. The serene landscapes, rolling hills, and ancient forests of Middle-earth were inspired by the landscapes he encountered in his own travels and in the countryside surrounding Oxford. The character of Gandalf, the wise and powerful wizard in The Lord of the Rings, was inspired by the Old Norse god Odin. Both Gandalf and Odin are depicted as wanderers, wearers of wide-brimmed hats, and possessors of great wisdom and magical powers. Tolkien's works have had a profound impact on the fantasy genre and popular culture. His richly imagined world of Middle-earth has inspired countless authors, filmmakers, and artists, and his books continue to captivate readers of all ages around the world, making Tolkien one of the most influential writers of the 20th century. I hope you enjoyed uncovering those 10 key facts with me today. If you're passionate about history, make sure to hit that subscribe button and never miss an episode of Figures in History, where we explore captivating stories of influential figures from the past. Don't forget to click the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. We want to hear from you. Leave a comment below and let us know which historical figure you'd like to see in future episodes. Your suggestions matter, and together, we love exploring new avenues of history. Thank you all for joining us on this incredible journey. Remember, understanding the past shapes a brighter future. Keep exploring, learning, and being fascinated by the amazing figures that shaped our world. Subscribe to Figures in History for more captivating stories. And don't forget to nominate your favorite historical figure in the comments below.